Hi, and welcome back to the Senior Network. I am now joined with LaToya Waldo, Comfort Keepers. Yes. Glad to have you. Thank Always you. enjoy that wonderful smile of yours. Oh, Always, you're so you kind. You just brighten up the day. I appreciate that, Greg. And it's the holidays. It is the holidays. I'm in my kind of watered down You're getting there. You're getting close a little bit. <laughs> well, tell close. us a little bit about it. I know in home care, we're both obviously in the same business. Um, it's a big time for seniors. Give me some it, it, ideas, tips, and things like that. It is. It is a huge time for seniors. It's the time where we're getting back and connected with family um, and at this time this is one of the times where we want to make sure that everyone is felt included sure. um, and sometimes some seniors do not have family members and right. you want to make sure they're included so what we like to do is provide types of activities that they can do not only during the holidays but something you can go beyond um, so we start things off with maybe health care so we focus on getting out walking more mm -hmm. exercising going to the gym maybe we should try yoga something new oh. something a little different that they hadn't tried before getting them excited about a new activity something that they can branch out and do sure so this is that time of year we want to reflect on that um, particularly when we look at the health um, of the individual and making sure that they're doing more activities outside right do you do you get them out and like do Christmas shopping and things like that so they can send their children gifts and absolutely we do a couple of things so we do go out and we go Christmas shopping with uh, with our our, uh, with our seniors, yeah. but we also make crafts with our seniors. Oh, great. So we have um, this one craft we just did with uh, one of our seniors from a different area where we put together a picture frame and he handcrafted the picture frame with our caregiver's help. Sure. And we were able to put their names on it, the names of their little kids, and I actually send that to them with a picture of them um, doing something that they love to do. So this particular gentleman, he was in his rocking chair rocking, so it's a picture of him rocking and has his kid's name on it. So doing arts and crafts like sure. that is also a gift from the heart. Right. And it's something that people want to receive at this time as well. But we also do, as you said, going, going shopping and, and doing earrings and be able to bring them out there see the lights around the right. town and things are going on and be able to pick up a few trinkets here and there for those those special loved ones yeah let them start getting excited i know absolutely and i know after being in this business for many years this is the time of year too that i always like to tell the children you know they're going to be coming to town yes um, they may not have seen mom or dad in a while and sometimes things have changed yes um, and, and and not to the positive um, so i always encourage people when you come in to be open-minded and you know and when you're meeting with mom and dad, not to alarm them either about if, if their situation is starting to change, because I know that we, and I'm sure you do, get a lot of phone calls after the holidays about we worried do. about mom or dad. We do. That's really important to highlight because you do get a lot of phone calls from, from loved ones saying, oh, mom looked a little less energetic. Right. Um, her appearance kind of looked a little different, um, looked like she lost a lot of weight. And a lot of times it could just be a natural thing. Sure. Um, she's healthy. She's fine. We're meeting with her doctors and our caregivers are taking her to the appointments and the doctors are saying this is a natural progression. But it, it can be alarming. It can. Um, yeah. But the biggest thing is what you said is making sure that we don't show the alarm right um, because doing that will cause the loved ones to say sure. "Ooh, what's wrong yeah and then they'll start getting self-doubt and you don't want them to go with it right. um, this is a time where you want to make sure you're bringing out the positive bringing out the happiness um, sharing uh, different things that you can do with them to say oh okay sure they're still healthy yeah. I I'm noticing the signs she may look a little different but she's still alert. She's still communicating with us. She's still here with us and present. So maybe she looks a little off, right. but I think she's okay. Yeah, and, and I know you, you folks would do the same thing at Comfort Keepers. Um, I know it right at home we do. I always encourage families too this time of year when you're, you know you're coming to town and if you think that your mom or dad may need some care, even minimal care, mm -hmm. or just some socialization, companionship, now's a great time when the children come to town to call companies like us, get in there and meet with everybody yes. while they're here before they leave because then they're comfortable with the organization and the parents are not intimidated or, or, or paranoid about what is this that we're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Because that can be a fearful thing to them too. Uh, so I do encourage, and I know you do too. We do. We please actually, meet with us now when you come to town. Absolutely, that that is a huge thing. We actually had a client, a son, come in town and wanted to visit with their uh, with their loved one and actually have us come in because we do free at home assessments. Sure. And so they wanted us to come in and and talk through 
all the offerings that we provide for them given their situation. And it made the mom um, feel happy about what we're gonna do. It made the child feel happy about what we're gonna do for their, for their parents and loved ones. So this is the type of thing that we need to make sure that everyone is aware of. Make okay. sure you, when you come to town, bring that caregiver in or uh, call in for the caregiver to come in and sit with you and kind of go through what is it going to be like? What's um, this going to be like? After I'm gone. All right, yes. hold that thought. We're going to need to take a break. Awesome. Stay with us here on the Senior Network. We will be right back.